each other, and now they're throwing punches. Boy, both. these are two big guys are going to go. Both coaches are going to be holding their breath, but neither one of the big offensive stars get hurt in this fight. It's a noble but not very sensible idea by either one of them. Let your fighters fight and the dancers dance. Well, I'll be. The two heavyweights are gone. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming back number 12, Jerome Cool feeling, and, and um, it felt, you know, felt special. And yeah, I was a little nervous, and then a little excited. And I got a great one-timer chance right off the start. And I, yeah, I was a little too excited and pulled it and uh, tried to hit it too hard. And uh, Z and, and all the the guys came out and, and uh, wouldn't let me off the ice. And uh, you know, I went, I went for one little loop, and they're like, no, 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 you got to go one more. And then they made me go one more too. And, <laughs> and uh, but that was, it was fun. It was fun. It was great. It was um, definitely brought back a, a lot of great memories. And here comes the captain again. The other right wingers are getting a nice rest yeah. tonight. Jerome McGinley, Nystrom looking for McGinley all the way. Nystrom McGinley scores! There it is, number 50 for Jerome McGinley. Oh, you don't think there's a little bit of pressure? You don't want to be a selfish guy. That's the last thing that Jerome McGinley is. But watch McGinley fight through Bordeaux. Everybody knows where the puck is going. Watch number 28 tries to get in position, then gets picked by Sadine. And right through the five hole on Curtis Sanford. And that look says it all. Just a great celebration on the Calgary bench, not just by the players, but the coaches. And Mike Keenan and Jim Playfair, just exuberant for the captain. Lango back to Aguila, picked off by Brewer, can't clear the zone. Kept in by Panuf. Lango has it. Now Husalius. Aguila shoots, scores! Jerome Aguila, at this point, we think it is goal number 365, taking over the Flames' all-time lead. And it looks like it was off of Brewer, so it looks like Jerome Aguila. Number 365, the fans standing at Pengrove Saddle Dome, saluting the Flames captain. In front of Glenn Cross, he leaped, battling for the puck. Butler takes him off the puck, and Glenn Cross headmans to the captain, Jerome Aginla, with Bo Meester on the rush. Aginla in front, they score! It went off a skate! Scored prettier ones, but not many bigger ones. They're standing in Calgary. Jerome Aginla on his night of distinction, 500 goals with the same team. One of only 15 players to get 500 with the same team. Blocked, Aginla's loose, he's got a breakaway. Jerome Aginla scores, there it is. Point number 1,000 for Jerome Aginla. Well, he gets that leg pump and he lets it go in a hurry and he is so accurate from that position with that head up. How many goals have you seen him score with a snapshot from that far right face-off circle? Point number 1,000. Puck out at center, there's Conroy out of the box, away he goes, Jerome Aginla scores! And Aginla's yelling, screaming for the puck. Conroy doesn't see him, but he hears him. And Aginla just comes steaming down the slot with that 
quick release, and Jerome Aginla has the icebreaker in game seven. Salo knocks Aginla down. Jello, Conroy gets the puck. Leopold, a shot in front, scores! Jerome Aginla has done it again! And then another major league play by Jerome Aginla coming out of the corner. Aginla goes from his back end to his forehand, left all alone in front. Two on counter. Aginla off the boards. Here's Yell shot, all big. Another huge, they score! A rebound, and it's Martin Jelena. And it all starts with the captain Aginla coming off the boards. Yell keeps the puck alive. Aginla with another shot. And then Jelena barely gets the puck over Alex Hall. The Calgary Flames will end the cup curse and move on to Detroit in round two. Camilleri through the seam, redirected, still loose, scores! Jerome Aguila has tied Darren Curry as the team's all-time leading point getter. His 830th career point is a flame. A point through the seam, Camilleri. Tipped away for Aguila. Here's Jerome Aguila again. Down low, Camilleri, he scores, and there it is! Ginless, 831st career point, surpassing Theron Fleury and is the all-time Flames leading scorer. Congratulations to Jerome McGinley. The sign says it all. Flames led at 1.42 after three unanswered goals that they scored in the second, only to give up three unanswered. Conroy, Aginley, there it is! Number four! Just takes his time, gets into the right position, in the wheelhouse. But no mistake there, and no chance on that shot. What a night it has been for the captain. It's a Gidla moving in on right wing, winding up the slap shot. He scores! Yeah, baby! That's number 50 for Jerome Gidla. This player is the first player to win both trophies in one year. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Art, Art Ross Trophy and the Maurice Richard Trophy, the Calgary Flames, Jerome McGinley. As you may know, the Lester B. Pearson Award is voted upon by the players themselves. And here's Jerome McGinley again celebrating. Congratulations on the Pearson Award. Shot in there. Hard around the net. Sabrina got it back up front. Here's the pass. Aginla shoots. Stop. Rebound. Score. Calgary wins the game. And Aginla was instrumental on handling the puck inside the line. This record crowd stunned. Boy, what a shift. Jerome Aginla without his helmet looked like a man possessed not to be denied. It's Calgary now one win away from the Stanley Cup.